I saw you talking to the neighbor. What did you say to her? That's none of your business. What I tell our neighbor about reading poetry with an ear for its metrical nuances is not your concern. You've been drinking again, haven't you? You have. How can you do this to me? How can you do this to yourself? You're an embarrassment, and I should never have married your sister, then waited until she died, and then married you. Lower your voice. Cornflake Crimson is watching. I don't care about that right now. Cornflake Crimson can take care of himself. He has plenty of food in his dish, and I cleaned his litter box this morning. How much have you had to drink today? Not enough, if I have to deal with this interrogation. How much have you had to drink? I had a juice box, and then I filled the empty box with gin, and walked across town sipping it, until it was empty. Then I did the same thing five more times. That's it. As much as I admire your ability to stand up, after drinking six juice boxes of gin, I can't live like this. Cornflake Crimson can't either. We haven't had a polite meal together in months. I saw you eating a bowl of cockroaches last night. You didn't offer me any. I felt a funeral in my brain, and mourners, to and fro. Stop that. Kept treading, treading, till it seemed that sense was breaking through. Stop it. Poetry will not fix this. You can't ignore all of your problems by reciting poetry in the living room. And when they all were seated, a service like a drum. Kept beating, beating, till I thought my mind was going numb. We're finished. I'm leaving, and I'm taking cornflake with me.